The analogy that I give my patients uh, for the rotator cuff is you've got to imagine it's like a curtain and the curtain has hooks and it's on the railing. The hooks are the tendons and sometimes few tendons come off and just like a curtain, if you lose one or two hooks in the middle, it doesn't really matter. You can have rehab and so on and you can really compensate for the loss of hooks. You can still have a very functional curtain. But once in a while you lose too many hooks in the middle or you lose a few hooks on the side and it doesn't start functioning like a curtain, it starts drooping and so on. And rotator cuff is pretty much like that. Right? It's a cuff of tissue, it's almost like a curtain that goes all the way around. And if you use too many or in the wrong place, you can't compensate for it. So it's not the size that matters, but the location. And it's my job to figure out which ones need surgery and which ones don't. So, if I offer somebody surgery, the way I tell them is that my surgery was going to take you from zero where you're stuck to the first 10 yards. That is it, right? But they are stuck there and my job is to take them to the first 10 yards. And it is rehabilitation and time that finishes it off to the 100 meter race. Now in those cases where there is a mechanical problem that needs fixing, the question is what does PRP lipogems or any of the biologics that we use help. To add to the analogy, what I say is that you still have to do the 100 meter race, but perhaps what the biologics do is make it more predictable that you make it to the finish, right? And make you perhaps a bit like Usain Bolt and make you get there faster.